Hello everybody, it is Wednesday and we're doing another uh, balloon twisting video. This one's going to be kind of Harry Potter, kind of Halloween themed. We're going to do a, a Witch's Broom or uh, um, the Nimbus 2000 type balloon or whatever you want to call it. Basically it's a broom. Okay, so we're going to need uh, one uh, mocha brown for the handle, um, some... Uh, um, Turn up. This is goldenrod yellow for the uh, bristles, and then I have chosen a chocolate brown for my strap. Um, it usually works better or looks better with the one uh, sixties, but I'm gonna do it all in two sixties because not everybody carries one sixty balloons. Okay, so um, basically what we need to do first is we need a handle for our broom. So we're gonna blow this one up. Um, you can blow it up as big as you want your handle to be. Uh, you're going to have uh, three ear twists, and the rest is the uh, handle of the uh, broom. So, uh, you can blow it all the way up to the end and still be safe, okay? <coughs> yeah, unless you're blowing it up by mouth, and, and then you're like, Whoosh. that took a, quite a bit. Okay, so, as you can see, my balloon is filled end to end. Um, we're going to go over here I'm gonna start out little bubble little bubble followed by little bubble we're gonna wrap these two like so and uh, we're gonna take the first one and we're gonna roll it through this is what is called a double ear twist so basically by rolling this one through those two you can see we've just started to create what is ear twist with the first two for a double ear twist. Hey, okay, what are you doing? I'm having way too much fun. Okay. With that said, you have what looks like that at the moment. And then, let's finish bringing this one through and tie it back into itself. As you can see, I'm just pulling the, pulling the, uh, nozzle of the balloon into itself wrap it around and now I have three ear twists on the top with that said you should have something that looks something like that unless you want to do it single ear twist single ear twist single ear twist you can do it that way too okay with the broom handle you can leave it straight like this if you want or you can fold it over and do what is a pinch twist basically to give it like a semi funky form going on here. <laughs> okay, so that's gonna be my broomstick. Now, with the uh, uh, um, goldenrod yellow, basically we're just gonna blow them all up to the length and fold them in half. So we're gonna split the balloons. One, two, as you can see I'm tripping the balloons because I don't need them to be stiff stiff, I just need them to be able to be uh, uh, blown up, okay, and then what I want to do is I want to find uh, the centers of my balloons, so I set them side by side, make sure they look pretty good, take them, pull them over, and if I found center, then I would do that. Okay, now I want uh, I want two more in order to make it a full full uh, bristle broom. Okay, when, once you let out a little air and it seems like the balloon is soft, tie them off. Okay, and again, you just take your balloons. You can do them one by one if you wanted. Okay, hold them, come up, find the center, roll them, take your centers, hold them together, just spin the top. Then take one of them and leave it all the way through the design itself. 
and they're locked together, okay? Now, take your uh, broom handle where you have your, uh, um, your three ear twists and your ear twists are going to sit on the top of your design but you have to interlock it between the design first. So, uh, with like four up, four down, uh, you would just wrap it around the set one time and then, then what you want to do is you want to take your handle and lock it up inside your ear twist so that now if you can see we got like a, a palm tree type thing going on okay now next what we want to do is we want to rearrange all our our bristles so that everybody sets about even okay You could do this blown up or just take a, a, a um, uninflated balloon and strap them down. That's up to you. Uh, I prefer to do it blown up. So what I'm going to do is, as you can see, I got five, about a little bit of three to four off the nipple there myself. Um, I'm going to start out with a bubble, followed by a bubble. We're going to make an ear twist, followed by an ear twist. And then we're going to tie this one back in. This would be the way that you would have done it if you had chosen to do ear twist, ear twist, ear twist singly. Okay? And now that I get all three of those, I can semi-position them for what I want to do. I'm going to make a button out of that. Okay? So basically what I want to do is I want to soften my balloon and stretch it down. Then I want to gather all, all my other pieces. And I'm going to take my balloon and I'm going to wrap it right around it. As you can see, I'm about halfway up and halfway down on my bristles. And then I want to, I want to semi pull it tight. So basically what I'm doing is I'm pulling these together as tight as possible. And then I'm going to make a bubble and I'm just going to wrap it right around that set of ear twists. And then once I'm finished wrapping around the ear twist, I'm going to go right up to the center, like so, and then I'm going to break it off. If you have to, you can use your scissors. If you can break it off with your fingers, all the power to you, okay? Voila! Okay, check my broom handle, make sure everybody's doing a good job what I try and do is I try and expand out my bristles on the top to give it a little room also it gives it a little style so basically you can see I'm doing what is like a semi pinch twist by just pulling them up into my hand since they're nice and soft they're, they're gonna uh, take on a little shape okay then we're gonna move our black one a little up Okay, now once you get uh, uh, to the bottom, you can do whatever you want, you know, get a little shape. Because uh, these are just your bristles. Some are going to be longer than others. And that's true with any uh, broom that's been used. Some are longer than others. But with any broom, the bristles uh, look like they're used versus uh, uh, just new out of the box. So we're just going to give a little spikiness to it. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Okay, as you can see, we have our bristles on our broom. We have our handle on our broom. And with that said, I'm trying to hold it in the camera, but my handle is a little too long. So... Thank you for watching this week's uh, video on how to do balloon animals, balloon twisting in general. And this has been the Balloon Bandit of Amusement with a Twist. Have a great one and enjoy. Try and hold up my broom in the picture here. <laughs>